The third thing is the whole relationship with Holy Spirit makes rule necessary. Now I want you to listen very carefully. One of the portion of the verses we've read tonight in Galatians chapter 5 is when Paul says, if we are led by Holy Spirit, we are not under the law. So if Holy Spirit leads us, we are no longer under the law. Now I want you to notice what Apostle Paul is not saying. He is not saying if you are led by the Holy Spirit, you don't need the law. You don't have the law and the law is completely out of your life. He just says when Holy Spirit wasn't your leader, the law was. When Holy Spirit is your leader, the law is not your babysitter. You are no longer under the law. Now for those of us who are Christians, we understand that the law, which is Old Testament precepts, there was actually three different laws. The ceremonial law, which was fulfilled in Jesus. The ceremonial law is when they brought a lamb on a Passover, like we you know have Easter. So what they did during that time in church is they brought a sheep and they killed the sheep in the church and that was a ceremonial law we don't do that no more if you come on our easter service we can guarantee you no kill sh uh, sheep killing we don't do that because that was fulfilled in jesus but then there was a second law second types of laws it was a civil law for example a civil law meant you have to watch your borders you have to uh, watch how you grow things you have to watch what kind of seeds so it had to be a civil law which mainly applies to the nation of Israel we don't live in Israel we have a different civil law today in our country and we try to live by it but there was a third kind of law which we still have as Christians all the way from Old Testament it was called moral law it's the part where the Bible says thou shall not kill with the part of the Bible says, thou shall not steal. It's the part where the Bible says, thou shall have no other gods in front of you. That law, though was fulfilled in Jesus, it's still in our life today. Because many Christians say things like, well, we are no longer under the law. The law is done with and today the only thing is we are under grace. True, ceremonial and civil, but not moral. The moral law is still in the life of a Christian. Now, the difference is, in the Old Testament the saints were under it. The law the Bible says was a tutor. It was a babysitter. All of these laws people were under it but the Bible says here when we are led by Holy Spirit the law is not our babysitter no more because we have a leader. So where does the law come into our life? The law, the rules are there to confirm not to condition a relationship with Holy Spirit. Write this down. The rules are to confirm, not to condition a relationship with Holy Spirit. And I will explain that in a minute. The rules are not to condition, but to confirm a relationship with Holy Spirit. So they are not to condition, but they are to confirm a relationship with Holy Spirit. How many of you have a gym membership? If you go to a gym to sign up for a gym membership, they give you laws. They call them rules. There's no Ten Commandments, but they have certain rules. At the end, you say agree. And because you agree upon these rules, you join the gym. So the rules are the way you enter into your relationship with your gym. If you break any of the rules, what do they give you? They kick you out. They take your membership and you're completely out. That is Old Testament. Now let me give you a New Testament. Those of you who have a home, when you were born in your family, every single one of you, you did not have to agree to any rules before you were born in your family, right? I don't think your mama sends you a, a file in your womb says, do you agree? Take off your shoes, clean the dishes and don't walk on the carpet and feed the dog and cut the grass on Saturday and don't curse and don't swear, don't do drugs. If you don't, don't come out of there. Find you another mommy. None of us had that. We are born and we never had any laws to be part of the family. Am I right? But once we are in the family, we have rules in the family. Why? Not to stay in the family, but because so that we can grow in that family. And when you break that rule, do you stop being a son? 
No, you can get a timeout, you can get spanking, you may lose your Wi-Fi password, which will be the end of the world. <laughs> You may have to do certain things but you know one thing is that when the rules are broken in the family it's not the same thing as rules are broken in the gym because in the family the rules never caused you to enter the family and therefore they cannot cause you to get out of the family everything is based on relationship in the gym things are based on rules so what Paul is saying when I have a relationship with Holy Spirit it's like a family the rules are there to confirm and to protect a relationship not to determine the relationship but the rules are still there 